Toma is a respectable 4-star Pyro Polearm user who can provide a decent shield and apply Pyro to enable reaction-based buffs. His kit complements his shield well since it scales off HP, has a low cooldown, and is strengthened based on refreshes. Since Toma's personal damage is not great, building him as a shield support is relatively cheap because it means you can just focus on one aspect of his kit. However, Toma does have some glaring issues. His high energy requirements make it difficult to achieve max shield strength. His damage is not great and is considered a DPS loss when built for damage in almost any team. Additionally, his shield takes time to ramp up to full strength. Toma's normal attack talent is called Swift Shatter Spear. His normal attack string is a 4 hit combo with the last hit having Toma kick his spear towards the enemy. His charge attack is a straight lunge towards an enemy in front of him. This talent will generally not be used in practice. Toma's elemental skill is called Blazing Blessing. When used, Toma uses his spear's leverage to kick his opponent, dealing pyro damage, applying pyro to himself, and creating a shield. This shield scales off of his max HP. After his first ascension, each time his skill is used, his max shield strength is increased by 5%, up to a max of 25%. Toma's burst is Crimson Oyoroi. When used, Toma deals AoE pyro damage, refreshes his shield, and enables the active character to trigger a cone-shaped pyro attack with their normal attacks. The shield provided from this has the same stats as his skills, but it will absorb less damage. Now that you know what he does, how do you play him? Toma is a shield support, revolves around the use of his shield and capitalizing on it to maximize your carry's on-field damage. Toma, in this role, does little to no damage, so all you need to build is HP and energy recharge. Since both his skill and burst provide or refresh his shield, it more or less depends on the preference of what kind of shield you want to be leveled first. His elemental skill is an upfront shield, while his burst is a quick refresh shield. Since his shield depends on refreshes to get max stacks, leveling his burst first is recommended. Toma's best weapon for this playstyle is Engulfing Lightning for its high energy recharge which Toma requires. His best 4 star option is Favonius Lance for its energy recharge stat and particle generation. His best free to play option is the Katane Cross Spear for its energy refund. An option to consider if Toma already meets his energy requirements is Black Tassel for its HP percent. Toma's best artifact set depends on the type of team he's on. If he's on a Melt or Vaporize team, the 4-piece Instructor set is actually his best option due to the party-wide Elemental Mastery bonus. However, this is difficult to run with sufficient energy recharge due to the set being limited to the 4-star rarity. In other teams, we recommend the 4-piece Noblesse Oblige set, or any combination of pieces that can maximize his shield and meet energy requirements. Specifically, these combos can be the two-piece Tenacity of the Millilith, Emblem of Severed Fate, or the Exile sets. The main stats to prioritize are Energy Recharge Percent on the Sands, HP Percent on the Goblet, and HP Percent on the Circlet. Note that if you are using the Favonius Lance, a crit rate circlet is preferred so that you can trigger its passive. As for substats, Toma mainly wants energy recharge up to 230% for Constellation 0 and 200% for Constellation 4, along with HP and crit rate if he's using Favonius Lance. Now that you know how to build Toma, let's talk about some teams you can use him in. Toma's best role in a team composition is as a shield support. In this role, other party members can utilize his shield to deal damage without worrying about taking too much damage or being staggered. He can also apply Pyro, which can enable Anemo characters to swirl Pyro and apply the resistance debuff from the 4-piece Viridescent Venerer set. An example of this team composition is Hu Tao, Xing Chu, 
Kazuha, and Toma. Toma provides a shield and applies Pyro for Kazuha to swirl and buff Hu Tao. With a shield and buffs, Hu Tao can dish out a ton of damage, while Xing Shu enables her vaporized charged attacks and deals off-field damage himself. Although Toma has some big issues, his shield and pyro application allow him to be a decent and comfortable pick. He doesn't need typical damage stats, making him easier to build with lower investment. Lastly, he can be effectively flexed into almost any team that wants a shielder. Thank you for watching this quick guide. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to drop a like. If you'd like to see more quick guides and other informative content in the future, subscribe to our channel.